St. Patrick's Day is coming up and we have a fun tradition in our family where the kids usually make leprechaun traps and we'll put them out the night before St. Patrick's Day and hope to catch a little leprechaun. I have to admit, we have not caught one in the past, but we're hoping that this is gonna be our lucky year where we actually catch one. Last year, St. Patrick's Day kind of slipped by us and we forgot to make our leprechaun traps and Addie was very upset because this is one of the things that she looks forward to more than many other days of the year. So I wanted to make sure we set aside some time to do this. So we're having a special play date today. The girls are each bringing home a friend from school. Maya is bringing home her friend Hensley and Addie is bringing her friend Caroline home. I've gathered so many fun supplies that we're gonna use to build our leprechaun traps. Let me show you some of the stuff that I got. I've got some shamrock stickers here. These ones are kind of cool because they have jewels on them, glittery clothes pins, glittery shamrocks, all sorts of sparkly shamrocks and leprechaun hats and these little gold coins, some little gold pom-poms, shamrock necklaces, we've got craft sticks, party hats, all sorts of crazy ribbon, feather boas. I have a feeling I'm gonna be regretting those feather boas and all the glittery supplies tonight when we're cleaning up, but we should have fun in the meantime. And then we also have a whole bunch of gold and green coins. Here you can see some more over here. Gold little cups, straws, pipe cleaners, more necklaces, some gold little buckets. I don't even know what this is, some type of like mesh tablecloth material, and I've even got some green and gold wrapping paper that we can use to wrap up the boxes that we're gonna try to capture them in. And then I've got a collection of boxes over here that I've just kind of collected over the last few days. I noticed that the Lucky Charms box even has like a little leprechaun trap on the back that you can cut out. So I think the idea is you put this on, a, on the box, you could open the door, and the leprechaun goes inside and gets trapped. Free breakfast if you're wearing green. We love rep leprechauns. Free balloon rides if you have pointy shoes. Leprechauns apparently like all things green. They like all things gold and shiny, which of course we know because they like their gold coins. So the whole point of your leprechaun trap is you entice them in by something gold and sparkly or green, shamrocks, and the idea is you get them trapped there and you get to keep your own leprechaun. Now after I put together all those supplies, I found these at Target, which are actually leprechaun traps that are already like to put together. I bought a few of these, but I have a feeling the girls are gonna get a little bit more creative and they're gonna wanna combine maybe this with some other things. But I thought it was cool because it has like little stuff that you build to go to the top and the top of it is like made of tissue paper. So I think the idea is the leprechaun tries to walk across it and they fall into the box and they're trapped. There's the tissue paper they fall into. And you can see here they're trying to entice them with free gold. But I thought they were kind of a cool kit because it comes with everything you need. So if you just wanna keep it simple and easy, you've got everything you need, you put it together, leprechaun trap is done. We're gonna be creating our leprechaun traps down in our basement guest room today because the main level of our house is still under construction right now. We have no furniture on our main level pretty much because we just refinished all the floors and we can't put furniture, furniture down for three to four weeks after that. So we have our station over here where they have all the supplies they can use and then I have this little green tablecloth on the floor which I thought would be perfect for the area where they can actually sit and get out the glue and tape some scissors and make their mess to create their leprechaun traps. And when the kids come home from school they're always hungry so I can't have a St. Patrick's Day play date without St. Patrick's Day treats as well. And now we just wait for the kiddos to get home from school. You guys excited for cookies? Yes, yes. Help yourself, girls. Are you guys excited to make leprechaun traps today? Yes. yes. <laughs> girls, I looked up some leprechaun traps online to give you some inspiration. Oh my Let me show you some. Okay. Look at that cake. So this is from Fun moneymom.com, I found this on Pinterest. So this one it says free gold, I think there's like a ladder and maybe like a false bottom that you like fall through the leprechaun. Oh yeah, under the um, shiny leprechaun thingy, there's a hole for you to climb. No! This one I thought was cool, it says free slides, the leprechaun climbs up and it slides down and gets stuck in the trap. It's, like, it's not really a trap because you could just climb up the slide. Well, maybe it can't. Maybe leprechauns can't, can't climb up slides though, Addie. We don't know. And this one looks like it's a cereal box it's with a, a ladder. Secret trap door. Secret trap door gold bank. So now I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff we have. I, bought, I got a ton of stuff. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my. Let's get Wait, 
All right, Caroline has a good question. How small are leprechauns? What do you we think? I don't know. What do you think, Maya? I think small enough to fit this. I would say so. I think they're this small. That small? Smaller than anything. Okay. And the girls, I also found at Target, they have leprechaun trap boxes like already made up that you can decorate. You can do whatever you guys want. This is gonna be awesome. Let's do it. See, look. So this, see, like they break through. But Maya, I think the leprechaun was supposed to fall through the thing you just punched out. I know. <laughs> it's for fun. There could be a piece of paper that falls and covers the whole thing. Ooh. So, we can so what are you doing, Hensley? I'm doing this on the box. How's yours coming, Caroline? What are you doing? Okay. I'm putting three gold, and then I'm going to put an arrow up and an arrow down. Ah. And then I'm going to put lots of stars. Tape. Magic. What are you doing, Maya? Well, I'm gonna put free gold up there, and so like, gold? I'm gonna like, make it be like, well, it's like brown in here, so like, who would not come in? So I'm gonna make like it be colorful in here. Oh, you could put some gold coins down in there too, I bet. Yeah. Guys, if we find a leprechaun, let's let each other know, and then we'll try and make, be friends with it, and then see where all the gold is. But we gotta be friendly to it, so that it tells us where the gold is. Because if we're not, it's probably gonna be like, mm -mm. Ooh, and that's gonna break through when he steps on there, you think? Mm -hmm. Did you guys think we're gonna catch a leprechaun? I think no. they're pretty sneaky. So Maya's already saying no, and we haven't even put our traps out. My friend in school, like, she's an amazing trap, but she said that there's no way to catch a leprechaun, so I believe her, but I don't know. What do you think, Hensley? Do you think we're gonna catch one? Do you think you'll Maybe. catch one? Maybe. Maybe. Patty? Because last year it was possible, but we didn't catch it, but we know he was there. We know there's a such thing as leprechaun because we put paint on a plate and then he stepped in and walked all around the plate. I forgot to tell our Tic Tac Toy fans. Last year we left a thing, I think it was two years ago, we left a little plate of green paint out and we woke up the next morning and there were tiny little green footprints in little places around our house. We know a leprechaun was there even though we didn't catch him. <laughs> I'm putting three on the top and then I'm putting gold. Oh, let's see what's inside yours. Ooh, that's gonna entice a leprechaun for sure. Um, I'm gonna have a scarf. You're gonna have a feather bow and necklace, Hensley. <laughs> and Caroline's layering some stuff on. Want some of these too? <laughs> what are you using this gold for, Maya? Well, the gold. Um, I'm gonna like. I don't know what I want to put in, but I'm just gonna be like putting these like a ladder. What I'm doing is I put the pot. I duct taped the pot of gold in here. Let me see. And Ooh. I put these like foamy, like glittery things in here. But the real gold part is gonna be these four coins, and I'm gonna glue it on top of this. But the foamy things are just to keep the gold like standing up, and I'm gonna glue the gold to the foamy things. How's your leprechaun gonna get in there? Well, over here. See, I'm gonna write push for gold. Ooh, and or, so they'll like push jump. and fall in. Yeah, or, or maybe like jump for gold. Uh, you could I'll even. You could tell the leprechaun it's a trampoline and it could try to bounce on it and fall through too. Yeah. Girls, I'm gonna ask you some St. Patrick's Day jokes. See if you can figure them out. Mm -hmm. So first one are riddles, I guess. Why are so many leprechauns florists? Oh, um, is there like um, like rainbows? And they're like, like rainbow stuff? Not quite. You guys have a guess, Not anybody? Right. Because leprechauns have green thumbs. They do? They oh. do. Well, they're green, aren't they? Like, they don't when people say you have a green thumb, that means you're really good at gardening. Exactly. Okay, here's the next riddle. What kind of bow can't be tied? It's the... Sa I think St. Patrick's Day. I'm putting push. Uh, something that we Oh, see. a rainbow. A rainbow, you got it, Caroline. Yeah, I was thinking of what? Knock, knock. Who's there? Irish. Irish who? I wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Knock knock. Who's there? Um, <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. some of this crepe paper yeah and put a lot of it in I folded some pipe cleaners up like this and then set it in the basket and put a lot of these on top you guys are all gonna have some very cozy comfy leprechaun I think Hensley is officially done with her box she's gonna move on and help Maya make hers because 
but I haven't started her box yet. She's been working on all sorts of cutting projects and gluing things. We don't think we have an actual box going yet. Kinsley, show us your box first. Oh, you're right. So it says push, and he'll push. So he'll push inside. down and fall inside, and what's inside? You have okay. two cupcakes and a whole thing of gold. Oh my goodness, let's take a peek. Hensley has a lot for her leprechaun to do. Cupcakes and gold and a place to sit. Wow, you're gonna have one lucky leprechaun, Hensley. Caroline has just finished her leprechaun trap and she's gonna show us all around her cool trap. I made a sign saying free gold and then there are two arrows pointing at it. I really like these jeweled. Those are um, so pretty, the shamrocks. Mm hmm. And then and I it's made gonna coins for fall through fruit, there. And then um, they're gonna jump in there. And, and then, then they see these what's inside. And then, wait, and they jump in, and then there's Welcome Leprechauns. Ooh, and then let me there's see. the entrance at back. Welcome Leprechauns entrance at back. And when they fall in, and what's at the back? Here's the Ooh. entrance. They're gonna go up, and then they're gonna go right here and jump. Once they read the sign and but they'll follow the arrows, when they go and in, they'll jump and they'll go in and they'll see. And well, I'm gonna go write in, go in after this. Perfect. Um, jump in and then when, they when they're here. inside, let's see. Whoa! This is their bed. It says <laughs> get comfy. Oh, it does. I and love then, that. And then their little pot of gold that I promised them. Oh yes. And then I made. This just for fun, for some cool. reason. Cool, and a little, is that like and a rug And then a little them? rug. You have quite a home for your leprechaun too. I think they're gonna get nice and cozy and probably not gonna go anywhere. Are you done, Addy girl? Uh -huh. All right, show me yours. I put like free gold on the side. Okay. And some like, whatever they Shamrocks called. on top, uh -huh. and again they fall in here. They fall in there, and then I made a cute little home. Oh my goodness. Where here's the shelves, and then there, there's like a mini path. Oh, a, okay, so you have a shelving unit over here. And then like there's a mini path from over here to. The stepping stones. Yeah, stepping stones to the. Pot of gold. Yeah, and then I made a little bed. Oh, and there's a ladder to the bed? Yeah, I made the ladder to the bed because the bed's up high. And then. Are these pillows? Yeah. And the bedspread? Yeah. You were very good to your leprechaun too, Addie. Yeah. Like if you make a good like trap with a good home in it, then your leprechaun may like come in and stay and then you'll get some gold. And now let's check on Maya. I'm not sure what she's doing. I don't think any of us are really too sure what Maya's got going over here. Maya, what do you have going over I here? I switched my thing of what I'm doing. I'm like doing this little like hat stand. A Daddy. hat stand for a leprechaun? Yeah. Well, interesting. A hat stand. Well, I think all of their leprechaun traps turned out really cool, and we're gonna have to keep you posted whether or not we catch any leprechauns, whether or not we have any leprechauns moving in with us, because you know what? Some of their homes are pretty cool. They might just get comfy. You'll both let me know if you catch some leprechauns? Yes. Okay, perfect. I think you might. Yeah.